Hello, Internet. Uh, this is wild. This is actually not a stream. I know. Um, so the incredibly, incredibly kind people at sassygamers.com, uh, who will have a link down below in that bit, or maybe it's over there. I don't really know. I don't do YouTube, but this is actually a YouTube video. Maybe the first of multiple uh, of product opening. Uh, so, yeah, the uh, amazing people at Sassy Gamers, um, they have supplied me with a draft booster bundle of Modern Horizons 2. I've not opened much sealed magic product in a long while, uh, like the odd booster pack here and there at my LGS. Um, but, yeah, I've not opened a bundle since Kaladesh. So I don't even know really what's in them. I'm not going to look at the back. I'm going to get my keys. These are really, really quite cute. Uh, little magic key ring danglies uh, that my fiance got me. I love them. Uh, right, we're going to open this up and see what we get. Uh, I imagine magic cards. At least I hope. If this doesn't contain magic cards, then we have a real problem. Ah, so I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. I hope you got some cool cards from Modern Horizons 2. Uh, let me know what you got in the comments section. Tell me about your pulls. Tell me what cards you're wanting to play with. Uh, I've got a lot of cards I actually want to pull from this set just for Commander alone. Uh, so, right, you get this uh, this nice little thing of the squirrels of the multiverse. Uh, it's got Squirrel Sovereign. It's got Chatterfang. Looking regal as fuck. Uh, dear Magic Fan, thank you so much for picking up this Modern Horizons 2 bundle. Your support and participation mean so much to us. We're able to continue creating sets like this because players like you who join us when we try new things. We hope you love playing with these cards as much as we love making them. Sincerely, Wizards of the Coast. Well, that's nice. I didn't even know that was a thing. You can go over there for a minute. Uh, so you get this box filled with cards. Uh, they always put these in now, which is like just an empty box for dice, I guess. I don't know. I probably will never use this. And some trash. Uh, though I do know, or they used to. Like, oh, see if I do this without ripping it. Yeah, they are always like little wall scroll kind of things. And this one's got uh, Dacon, I think, looking. Yeah, it's Dacon, looking pretty, pretty beasty. Now that's cool. I completely forgot about that until just now. Uh, that can go on my side table. So, let's do this. That's bare. That's uh, looking good. So yeah, uh, we get this huge spin down. Uh, I love the giant spin downs. This is my first one I've actually got. Um, yeah, this is great. Content. I got four. Maybe that means we'll get four mythics. Uh, then you get this little package. You can see here. Uh, it's got a Usri Fortune's Flame or Flame's Fortune. Fortune's Flame. That's what the reading does. Oh, God. I should not prepare for how hard this is going to be to open. It's got basic lands in it. You're not missing much. I'm probably just not going to open it. Go. Go there. You get 20 foil lands and 20 non-foil lands. And then this is the source. This is actually what everyone here is going to be for. The boosties. So, um, I don't really know what the breakdown of things is like in Modern Horizons. Um, we've got a... Oh, it's Gaeodrome Derada. Got a Dacon Blackblade. Oh, uh, that's Svelun or Svelun or... Oh, I can never remember how to pronounce her name, but she's the cool merfolk god. And, yeah. Get a nice mixture of each character on the booster. So we're going to open the first one now. Let's go to the side. This is the first time I've ever opened packs on screen. So, understand, this is probably not going to be as high tier as watching, like, a box break or something. So. Uh... I like in the packs, you get a 
like little rundown of what the draft archetypes are. So if you turn up to a draft, you don't, you're not gonna like not know what you are playing. Uh, we've got a clue token. So, got a Cabal Initiate. It's the best way for you to see this. Play like that. Ooh, Chatterstorm, but old frame. That looks amazing. Arcbound Tracker. World Weary. Uh, I quite like these basic land cycling cards. Marble Gargoyle. Ah, oh, this was a this is a callback to an old magic card, I think. Like Granite Gargoyle or something like that. Uh, that's really cool. Uh, Banatide Crush Banahide Crushock. This card's really good actually. It's got so much text for a common. Shattered Ego. Landscaper Colos. Fodder Tosser. Tangle Pool Bridge. Oh, it's uh, one of the artifact lands. These are really cool. I think these are actually like, super playable. Our uh, first uncommon is Flay Essence. Exile a creature or planeswalker. Game life for two a number of counters. This is actually pretty sweet. Uh, Flame Blitz. Oh, it's the planeswalker hate card. Deal five damage to each planeswalker being of your end step, but you can cycle it. I really like this. It's got those unlucky planeswalker on it. A Arcus Acolyte. 2 mana, 2-2, two, two, reach, lifelink, it has outlast, and each creature you control without a counter on it can also outlast. I think this card is fantastic, I can't wait to try some of my cube, I uh, really hope I get foil. And our rare is a Riptide Laboratory. Oh, this isn't actually our, well, it is our rare, but no, this is our um, new to modern reprint, because you get one per pack in this slot. So we got an extra rare, and a Piru the Volatile, uh, double red, double black, double white, for a, and two for a 7-7 seven, seven flying with lifelink. Um, when it dies, <clears throat> uh, you deal seven damage to each non-legendary creature, and you have to sack it unless you pay uh, Mardu colors. This guy's really cool. Uh, so yeah, we're going to sleeve our rares as we go. There we are with these random dragon shield sleeves I found. But no, Ritual Laboratory is pretty cool. Uh, I wonder if this kind of be good in modern. I have no idea, honestly. Uh, I don't follow the format anywhere near as much as I used to since my deck got banned. Uh, so that can go. These can go over here. Right, pack number two. Deck on pack. Let's uh, let's get a Urza Saga. That'd be cool. Got a squirrel token. Good sign. Maybe get a chat fang. Right. Crack open. I think this card's actually really sweet in commander. Um, two, three mana. Destroy a artifact or enchantment. But you also make a treasure. So it's like a disenchant effect. But for one extra mana. You get a mana you can use later on. Uh, Viashino Lash Claw. Discard a card. Give all your creatures haste. And it's a bear. This is actually pretty okay. Uh, Tezerus or Zerus Charger. Uh, three mana, three two. You can escape it for five cards, and it escapes with a, your choice of a one one counter or a flying counter. It's cool. It's a really nice ma mashing mechanics. I think that's what I like most about this set. Uh, Dust Shell Crawler, two mana, o three. Uh, in the battlefield, put a one one counter on a target creature. Each creature you control with a counter on it has trample. So this can actually be a two mana one four. I bet that's actually really hard to beat in draft. Urban Dagger Tooth. Um, this was Tappy Toe Clauses uh, preview card, I believe. She's a great content creator. Check her out. Uh, this is a four mana four three with vigilance, and whenever it's dealt damage, you get to proliferate. This card's really good. I think this is also like one of those um, you don't expect how good it's going to be in Commander until it is cards. Uh, recalibrate two mana. Uh, return a creature to its owner's hand. If you discarded a card this turn, you also get to draw a card. Blacksmith skill. This is actually insanely good in Commander. Uh, for one mana, you give anything you control hexproof and indestructible. But if it's an artifact creature, it also gets plus two plus two. This card's great. You should be playing this card. Tragic Fall. Two mana. Give something minus three, minus three. If you're Hellbent, then it gets minus 13, minus 13. It's like the New Age uh, Tragic Slip. This card's really cool. I really dig this card. Uh, Mere Scrappling. Oh, I love all the new mirrors in this set. They're not very good, but I really like them. One mana, one one. You can sack it to put a counter on something. It's actually probably the most playable of them. 
the ornithopter of paradise this is actually great i love that this exists it's not a good magic card but i really like that they made it like two mana zero two flyer that adds one round of any color to your pool um i'm gonna consider i'm considering cubing this uh abiding grace uh three mana you get to either gain a life in your end steps or reanimate a one drop i think this, could be, this card could actually be really strong in certain decks but uh maybe more about uh cards in the set's power level and commander in the future uh skull tide oh yeah this lets you uh, discard cards to make crabs uh and if you've got delirium your crabs get plus one plus one i really like this effect altar of the goif five mana when a creature you control attacks alone it gets plus x plus x until end of turn where X is the number of card types among cards in all graveyards. So it makes your alone attackers Tarmogoyfs. But it also gives your Lurgoyf creatures Trample. Uh, what do what does what dies grows the illegible crossed out statue inscription. Who knows what it grows? Uh, our, our uh, new to modern cards Bone Shredder. Uh, this card probably won't be that good in command in uh, modern, sorry, but it's great in commander and it's great just in general. Little peek for our next card. It's a search the premises. Uh, when a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control, you get to investigate. Um, I think the jury's not in on this one yet. Uh, this could be good. This could be bad. I'm sadly hearing on the side of bad, but hey, it's good to own one. Two packs down. We've got eight packs left. Uh, I like bundles for this thing. Of you just have so many packs. It's not like it's, sure it's not as many as a box, but it also doesn't cost like two hundred pounds. It's a uh, oh, oh, oh secret lair. It's the best, the best worst kept secret in Magic. More importantly, a squirrel token. So bone shards. Love this. Love it. Gargadon, I, I'm glad they finished the cycle finally of the lesser and greater. Now there's just the Gargadon. Uh, Echoing Return, I uh, can't wait to get blown out by this card when my opponent returns all their pack rats to their hand. Not pack rats, um, rat conlies. Uh, Flourishing Strike, I don't know what this does. Uh, either gives a creature plus three plus three, or it deals five damage to a creature with flying, but you can do both for three mana. I bet this is actually way better than people think it is. Uh, hard evidence, uh, one mana, investigate, and make a zero three craboid. This is cool. This is a cool magic card. Fairgrounds Patrol, two mana. Oh, it's a two mana two one that you can exile it from your yard to make a thopter. Uh, I like effects that let you just use the card after you've already used it. And this is pretty cool. Unholy Heat, uh, it's a burn spell, but it's really good if you've got Delirium. Uh, yeah. Ooh, too many peaks. Uh, Goblin Anacromancer. Two mana, two, two. Each spell you cast that's red or green costs one less to cast. Uh, so I believe because it's red or green, it doesn't make your red green spells two less. But I might be wrong on that. Uh, Chrome Courier. Say three mana, one, one flyer. When it enters, we have the top two cards of your library. You put one in your hand and the other in your graveyard. But if you put an artifact in your hand, you also gain three life. I like this. This is actually this would be really fun to draft in modern. No, modern in well, modern horizons limited. Uh Fey Offering. Uh this is like one of the most exciting cards in the set, in my opinion, weirdly. Uh so it's a three mana enchantment that at the beginning of each end step, if you made a, if you've cast both a creature and a non creature spell this turn, you get to make a clue, a food, and a treasure. Like that's so good. That's a card a mana, and some life. And even better if you've got cards that care about those things. This card's amazing. Uh, Archfiend of Sorrows. Look at this big boy. Big boy. 4-5 flyer. When it enters, it makes all your opponent's creatures get minus 2, minus 2, and you can unearth it for 5 mana later on. This card's really good. Spreading Insurrection. So 5 mana sorcery. You get to steal someone's creature, it gains haste, but it has storm. Um, I'm not massively impressed by this. You can play a Mizzix and it costs one mana, and that seems fine, but I think other than that, there's just better things Storm decks can do. Oh, we got a Solitary Confinement. So it's our second double rare pack. 
Uh, so it's a three mana enchantment. Uh, you s at the beginning of your upkeep, you sack it unless you discard a card. You skip your draw step, but it gives you shroud and prevent all damage that we dealt to you. Uh, I remember this used to be like a backbone of like a of a um like old like type one or type one point five deck, and I wonder if that might actually see playing in standard, not standard, modern. I know what formats are. Shh. But no, this could be good. Also, it's pretty decent in Commander. And our other card is a Verdant Command. Two mana, choose two. A target player makes two squirrels. Counter a loyalty ability of a Planeswalker. Exile a card from a graveyard. Or gain three life. I really like Verdant Command. I think this card's actually really cool. It just does so much. And we have a foil of a foil squirrel sanctuary. Uh, when it enters, you make a squirrel token. And when a creature you control dies, you can pay one mana. And if you do, you get to return squirrel sanctuary to your hand. This is a really cool foil. Looks really nice as well. Foily foily. But yeah, let's leave up our rares. We've not had a, a foil rare yet. That'd be nice. Like, give me foil rare. Uh, give me a pack with, like, cabal coffers. A foil, a, uh, I don't know, a ragavan and a foil grief. That'd be good. Uh, I would actually be happy with any of those cards. Right, next one. We've got a food token. I actually really like the food token in this set because it's um, Asmo Normo Dinaculas. That's probably not even right. Uh, that It's her kicking, and that's just really cool. Uh, revolutionist this is anarchist but modernized uh you can man this it out and you get to poke back into sort of sorcery it's fine oh we got our first sketch card a sketch kitchen imp show the imp that's a kitchen helper for asmore the underworld cook that's really cool i love sketch cards yeah didn't even know you can get them in these boosters also flying haste madness for a single black this is actually probably a more modern playable card than people think uh, Jewel-Eyed Cobra, when it dies, you make a treasure token, and it's a 3-mana three 3-1 three Death Toucher. I like it. Snake Tribal. Snake Tribal will play this. Uh, Tavern Scoundrel, whenever you win a coin flip, you make some treasures. Or you make two treasures. And one and tap and sack a permanent, you flip a coin. I wish this was a goblin. That's all I wanted. I'm with Hobbs on this one. Uh, if you don't know Hobbs, check out Hobbs Q on Twitter, or check out the Goblin Lore Pod. Hobbs wanted this to be a goblin, and so do I. Uh, step through. Five mana bounce two creatures, or you can wizard cycle it for two. If you are playing a wizard commander deck, this is a uncounterable instant speed tutor for any wizard you want. This is insanely good. Hey, it can search up Snapcaster. Nuff said. Uh, Knight Admir, uh, for three mana you can adapt it. If the creature has no counters on it, put a counter on it. And if it's got a plus one plus one counter, it gains double strike until end of turn. Uh, I really wish this just said the creature gained double strike. This would be really playable then. Uh, as it stands, eh, it's a shame, but hey, it's a little mirror with a sword and shield. They're adorable. Air Amoeba. For four mana, two four flyer. You can discard a card to make it a four two flyer. Uh, this is, like, here for the Madness decks. Uh, Arcbrand Prototype, I think this is our last common. This is the bear with the sets mechanic. It's a uh, two-mana zero, zero, but it's got modular two, so it enters with two counters, and when it dies, you put its counter somewhere else. Uh, I think back in the old days of Affinity, this probably would have been played somewhere. Maybe it was, like, a one-of. No, this is our last uh, common. Silver Bluff Ridge, it's the red blue indestructible artifact land. I'm sorry, this is our last common. Uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. Fancy card, yes. Uh yeah. The other other one. Uh hey, I want all five I want all ten at some point, so sure. Ooh, another old border card. Old border brainstone. Uh, one mana artifact, two tap and sacrifice it to draw three cards and put two back on top of its owner's library. Hey, look, it's Brainstorm, almost. Uh, combine Chrysalis, two mana in two mana artifact, creature token you can try have flying, and for four mana and sack a token, you can make a four four beast token. I think this card's amazing for like Simic token decks or like Bant tokens. 
Uh, also, very tempted to cube this. Uh, I've got a little token sub theme, so yeah. Uh, Ghostlit Drifter. Uh, the return of one of my favourite mechanics, a channel. Uh, it's a 3 mana 2-2. Two -two. Uh, you get 2... That's probably better. I should probably be covering these cards a bit closer. So the autofocus will actually pick up on them. Uh, yeah, it gives it's flying you can pay three mana to give another creature flying and you can channel it by discarding it from your hand and paying blue and x and you give x creatures flying this is really cool i really like this card oh it's a milkin womp womp uh two mana zero one tap and mill a card i know the reprint is here just so it can say mill a card uh and you get to add colors to mana pool this card's actually fine i really like it and Oh, baby. Fetch land. Get that slaved right away. Of course, these need no introduction. The most pa Some of the most powerful lands ever printed in Magic. And we got a Marsh Flats. The black-white fetch land. Definitely happy with that. Maybe, uh... Maybe we can get a Scolding Tar next. Uh, hey, look, it's Spike. She's, like, the best character. It's a thopter. Thop thop. thop. Right. Hellmongrel. It's a Hellmongrel. I like this card. Um, what, it's like evil wild mongrel. Smell fear. Uh, two mana proliferate. And also a fight. This is like a really cool bundling of effects. Uh, Vichina Lash Claw. Again. Uh, Torax Canticle. Uh, it's a sorcery. Someone The opponent reveals their hand. You choose a card from it and they discard it. And then they have to discard a card at random. Um, I don't think it's that good. Stupor is almost the same effect, which I think is better. Captured by Legax, get Legact. Saddleback Legak is back. Come on and sack it. Welcome to Legak, etc., etc. The Legak meme. Uh, yeah, it's a three mana target creature card tackle block, and you when you enter, you get to support. So I actually really like Captured by Legax. Uh, Foul Watcher, it's a 2 mana 1 2 flyer. When it enters, you surveil one. And it also gets plus 1 power if there's 4 or more card types among cards in your graveyard. I think this is actually like a sleeper pauper card. Uh, Arcbound Mauser, uh, it's a 1 mana 1 1 lifelinker. And when it dies, you move its counter over. This is actually really cool. So shiny, uh, 3 mana enchantment. When it ends the battlefield, if you control a token, you get to tap Enchanted Creature and Scry 2. And then it's a um, Encrust effect. Or oh, Claustrophobia effect is probably the actual one. Encrust is like a weird offshoot card. Yeah, the amount of effects this card actually does is really good. Uh, I'd look out for it. I think it's just not good enough for Commander and not good enough for Modern. It's really a draft card, but it might be a pauper card. Uh, white red artifact land. It's a big bridge. I really like these. I like that they're just things. Uh, fodder tosser. It tosses fod. Our first uncommon is blossoming calm. You gain hexproof from your next turn and you gain two life, but it has rebounds. So you do it again. I really like this card. The card's really cool. A uh, glinting creeper. Five mana green card. Uh, it's got Converge, and it's about for two counters on it for each colour of mana spent to cast it, and it can't be blocked by creatures power two or less. Yes, in Wooburg, this can be a five mana 10-10 ten, ten that can't be blocked by power two or less. Seems good. Oh, uh, to celebrate Fast and Furious 9 coming out, we have Fast and Furious. Uh, fast is an instant speed, discard a card, draw two, for three mana. And Furious is a five mana deal three to everything without flying sorcery. Um, yeah, it's a weird pairing of cards, but I actually quite dig it. I don't think it's that good, but I dig that it exists. And an angelic curator. I remember like them people being really excited that this finally got a reprint. Uh, flying protection from artifact, one one for two mana it's a super low cost angel and finally little peek we got a thought monitor uh thought monitor is really cool uh it's a seven mana two two flyer with affinity for artifacts and when it ends the battlefield you draw two cards this is cool 
I like it. Uh, but so far... Um, yeah, so far nothing really tops this Marsh Flats. Like, getting a fetch land is just so good from these packs. Right. Let's keep it going. We are only halfway there. And again, thank you so much. Thank you, Sassy Gamers, for just giving me this opportunity and getting to make some content. Uh, we got a Goblin. Kind of wish we got some new Goblin artwork. Uh, Glimmer Ben, uh, so one mana, two, one, two, and if you sack a token, it gets plus two, plus two. This card's actually really cool. Uh, it's also fucking adorable. Uh, battle Plan, uh, yeah, it's a it's the land cycler for red, but you can just make, it gives your creatures a little pump every turn. Uh, Descending Taste, what's card even do? Top four cards of your library, put one in your hand, and the rest in the graveyard. Gain life to the greatest power on creatures put into your graveyard this way. Oh, okay. So it's like, um... It's a draw card, but it has no cost. In fact, it gains you life. Black should have more of this. Uh, another uh, sketch card, Jade Avenger. Uh, it's a frog samurai. It's a 2-mana two 2-2 two -two with Bushido 2. Show a frog samurai who is a master swordsman, skilled and agile. He stands about 4 feet tall and wields a dice show. This is great. Let that little frog go. He's going to sword you up. Uh, Break Ties is uh, really interesting. Uh, three mana instant. Destroy an artifact. Destroy an enchantment. Exile card from a graveyard. Or you can pay white mana. Discard it and put a counter on a creature instead. This is probably not very good. Uh, Steel Fin Whale. Uh, it's a big uh, affinity for artifacts. Blue creature. Uh, when it enters. When an artifact enters under your control. You get to untap it. Eh. I'm not interested in that. Breathless Knight is a card I am interested in. It's a 3 mana 2 2 fly, fly with lifelink. And when it or another creature is in the battlefield under your control, if it comes in from a graveyard or cast from your graveyard, Breathless Knight gets plus 1 plus 1. This is actually a really good build around me common. Uh, like, get a few of these and then, like, re uh, resurrect something from your yard and you get all of a counter on them. So that seems really good. Uh, Landscape of Golos again. Not interested. Chrome Courier. Necromancer's familiar. Four mana, three one flyer. Uh, it gets lifelink if you're hellbent, and you can pay. You can discard a card, pay a black, and give it indestructible to another turn. It's probably really hard to beat in draft, especially if you're in the in that hellbent deck. Oh, we got another sketch card. Ethersworn Sphinx. It's a nine mana four four. It's got flying, affinity for artifacts, and cascade. I think this is the most the highest mana cost cascade thing we've ever seen or was apex devastate a 10 mana i think apex devastate was 10 mana but yeah this is like the second highest cost then and that's pretty cool uh but i don't know it just doesn't excite me uh sanctuary raptor it's a three mana two one when it attacks if you've got three or more tokens it gets two oh and first right it's probably really strong and limited little peek from the bottom Ooh, Counterspell. I forgot that was in this set. Uh, yeah, I love Counterspell. Big fan. Uh, really like this art as well. Really nice art Counterspell. I'm glad they kept using it for a while. And finally, ooh, Sword of Hearth and Home. I have not opened a... I have never opened a Sword of X and Y in all of my magic career. Uh, it's a three mana equipment. Uh, you can equip for two mana. And a quick creature gets plus two, plus two. Has protection from green and from white. When a quick creature deals combat damage to a player, you can exile a creature you own and search a low for a basic land card. Both of those go in the battlefield under your control, and then you shuffle. We also got a foil insect. I got nothing really to say about that. But yeah, this is probably our like second best pull of the set so far, and this is a good card. This is a really, really good magic card. So yeah, so far, so good. Two big, two of the uh, somewhat money cards. These are like the uh, mid tier of the money. Four packs left. Let's uh, let's get that bread. Whoop. Token is an elemental token. Oh, because uh, yeah, Tatiova is in this set. Not Tatiova, the other one. You know who it is. Uh, Galdzilla is a four mana four three reach. And if you've got Delirium, when it attacks, it also pings all your opponent's creatures. This card's really strong. Uh, Nesta Chambler, it's a zombie. When it dies, you make 
squirrels equal to its power. The implication is that the squirrels live inside the zombie. That's fucked. Uh, Rift Sower is a three mana mana dork, but it can be suspended for green. I actually think this card's really good. Uh, Lightning Spear, it's super flavorful. It's a bolt, but you're wielding the bolt. I uh, kind of wish it gave you plus three power. Step through. Soul of Migration. On Enter, you make some birds, and it has Evoke. I actually really like this. Like, it's basically four mana, two birds, if you want to revoke it. Mind Collapse. This is our free, uh, one of our free spells of the set. On your own turn, you can sack a mountain instead of paying the spell's mana cost, and it deals five damage to whatever you want. I actually think this is really good. Oh, Floodhound. Floodhound. Uh, so one mana, one, two, three and tap. You get to investigate. Action. This creature is a bloodhound formed entirely of water. A floodhound. Love this card. Storm God's Oracle is a three mana, one, three. You can pay a mana to do the old blue shifty power toughness thing they do. And when it dies, you get to bolt something. This card's actually really strong and limited. Uh, the black green artifact land. Ooh, Ren's Run Hydra. Uh, green and X for a zero zero reach. Um, ends with X counters, and you can reinforce for X. This is really good. Constable of the Realm. This is the uh, uh, the big step on me lady of the set. Uh, three three for five. Renowned two. So if it hits someone, it gets renowned, uh, and it gets two counters. And when one or more counts are put on Constable of the Realm, you exile something until she leaves. So she's like a slow banisher priest. Blazing Root Waller, haha, 420 Blazer. Uh, so you got one mana, one, one. For red, you can give it plus two power to learn the turn. But it has madness zero. It's uh, Basking Root Waller, but on fire. Ooh, Zuran Orb. Zero mana, sack a land, gain two life. This card was like feared to be too good for like Legacy for a while. I seem to remember it got banned in Legacy. And. An Academy Manufacturer. Uh, three out of one three. If you create a clue, food, or treasure token, you instead create one of each. I think this card's super interesting. I can't wait to see people build with it, and I can't wait to see what cool shit they build with it. Right, we only have three packs left. We are 70% of the way through this if you want to see more stuff like this let me know down below i would love to do more stuff like this i love opening boosters it's a squirrel right we got a xerish charger dust shell crawl we're going to go through a bit quicker on commons we've already seen because there are commons we have already seen a sinister starfish it's a sigil starfish but evil throw that one back i don't like how it's looking at me i love this card a uh, Disciple of the Sun, a... Oh, it's, got, it's taps to surveil one, by the way. The other one scries for one. That's why it's evil. <laughs> Disciple of the Sun's a 5-mana 3-3 three, three lifelinker. When it enters, you return a permanent with 3 or mana, or, with CMC 3 or less, from your graveyard to your hand. It's like almost Sun Titan. Kind of wish this was a cycle of commons, like Disciple of the Sun, Disciple of the Primeval, Disciple of the Boodly Doo, Disciple of the Flamberdam. You know... Magic words. A Foul Watcher. Fairgrounds Patrol. Ah, oh, it's Wave Sifter. Uh, flying. When it ends the battlefield, investigate twice. And it evokes for blue-green. Uh, it's Mole Drifter, but instead it gets clues. I really like this card. Tormod's Crypt Keeper. It's Tormod's Crypt, but a man. Uh, Prey Keeper. Or Dray Keeper, actually. I thought it said Prey. Uh, so 5 mana, 2-2. Two, two. On enter, you make 2 squirrels. And for 4 mana, all of your squirrels get a p one, plus 1 power and all gain menace. Uh, the art is super cool. Kev Walker Rug really knocked out of the park on this one. Uh, I hope this is Kev. Yeah. My eyes are awful. I'm wearing glasses. Yeah, love this card. Super unique art. Actually pretty okay. Uh, Batterbone. It's the little, bat little batter skull that could... Uh, it's got living weapons, so on enter you make a Phyrexian germ token and it immediately gets attached to the Batterbone. Um, the equipped creature gets 1-1, one, one, Vigilance and Lifelink, but it does cost 5 to equip, so it costs the same as a Batter Skull to equip. Scour the Desert, you exile a creature from your yard, uh, and you make birds equal to its toughness. I think this is just too much mana for the effect. 
Captain Ripley Vance. I can't wait to be beaten by someone building her as a commander. Uh, she's a three mana three two. When you cast your third spell each turn, uh, you get to put a counter on Ripley Vance, and then she deals damage equal to her power to any target. I love her. She's so cool. Little Quirion Ranger. One mana one one. Return of forest you control to its owner's hand. Untap target creature. Activate it's only once per turn. These used to be so expensive. I'm so glad like this reprint happened. Uh, I had a little peek. I think I know what it is. I think it's General Rorik Borik. It is General Ferris Rockrick. Uh, we have a foil. Uh, it's a 3 mana 3 1 with Hexproof from Monocolored. When you cast a non multicolored card, create a 4 4 red and white golem artifact creature token. And our foil is a foil whale. No, I really like Ferris Rockrick. Um, I think he's a super interesting commander. That I really think someone's going to build a really cool Ferris Rock Crick deck and just stomp someone's table and just fill the deck. Like, what is it? When you cast a multicolor spell? Yeah, so you get like, you get a 4 4 golem every time you cast like Boros Charm or like Lightning Helix. Food, it's a pie. Seems really good. Uh, Scofoss Reaver, kill, kill for Mogus. Uh, yeah, it's a 3 mana 2, 3. On your own turn, it's a 3 mana 4, 3. It has madness. It's the draft card. An Echoing Return. A Smell Fear. An Arcbound Slasher. A Little Nighty Boy. Ooh, Old Border Aero Amoeba looks sweet. This art looks perfect for Classic Magic. Ethereum Spinner. When you cast something that costs 4 or more, you get to make a little foppo. Late to dinner. This is lovely. I love this card because it's super sad. Of its... This Rhino... Uh, made dinner plans with this elephant but the elephant's dead but the elephant still actually came to the dinner plan so as a ghost what just lovely lore also it's a rhino in a suit uh dross fire bridge it's uh or dross forge bridge uh it's the black red artifact land it's the white black artifact land Ooh, sketch sudden edict looks really sweet Situation shows an existing visual gag that shows moments before and after a spell was cast. We'd like to use this visual gag for a spell that destroys a creature. That looks really cool! It's like its arms being skeletified. Skeletified? That's probably a word. Uh, said and done. Said is a three mana. Return an instant sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. And done. Tap two target creatures. Those creatures don't untap during their controller's untap step. Said is way better than done. Like, said is really good. Done is pretty shit. But said is also not worth three mana. Magic. A mono skellion. Oh, it's triskelion, but one. Uh, yeah, it's a two mana one one. Enter with a counter, and you can pay one and remove a counter to deal one damage to whatever you want. Right. Ah, uh, new to modern card is. An Enchantress's Presence. A three mana enchantment. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, you draw a card. And... A Grist! A Gristle of Hunger Tide! This is awesome! Oh, I'm so happy. This is actually like one of the more money cards of the set. Uh, immediately sleeve that. So, Grist is always an insect. Unless Grist isn't in play. Which means Grist can be your commander. Uh, for plus one, you make a 1-1 one, one insect token. You then mill a card, and if you milled an insect, you put a loyalty on Grist and do it again. Uh, minus two, you sack a creature, and if you do, you destroy a creature or planeswalker. And minus five, uh, each opponent loses life number of creatures in, their, in your graveyard. Grist seems super good. I know a lot of like modern decks have been playing this card already. And sleeve up our extra rare. Right. And this is our last pack. This is the last pack of Destiny. I've opened it badly. We've got a treasure token as well. Right. Galvanic Relay. Uh, I like this card. Um, I love Storm. And yeah, it just lets you just go through your whole library. This card seems to go. Uh, Guilt, Braid, Guilt Blade Prowler is a 3 mana 2 3. You can tap it and pay a mana and a life to draw a card, but you can only do it if you're discarded. Abundant Harvest, this was the card that was in the Mystical Archive, but not really in the set. Uh, surprise, surprise, it's a common and not very good, but it's really cool design space. Scofoss Reaver, 
Mental Journey, a six mana draw three at instant speed, which is actually pretty okay. Uh, and you can land cycle it for two. I like it. Solid Migration. Shattered Ego. Old Border Terminal Agony. Four mana, destroy a creature. It has madness for black, red. This is actually a really cool card. I love the old multicolor frame. I know a lot of people don't, but I think it looks really good. Blue, white, tap land. A little Mary boy. Onto our uncommons. Steel Dromedary. It's a robot camel. Uh, he's a three mana, four, four. Uh, but it ends tapped with two counters and can't untap if it's got any counters. But on during a combat on your turn, you can put one of its counters anywhere else you want. Healer's Flock. It's three Healer's Hawks. <laughs> I love that it is just three Healer's Hawks. It's a 3-3 three, three for 3, with flying and lifelink. Filigree Attendant is a 4-mana star 3. Uh, it's got power, equal number of artifacts you control. And it has flying. Oh, it's got a lot. Come on. Come on. We got a wonder. Uh, it has flying, and as long as it's in your graveyard and you control an island, your creatures are flying too. And the last rare is a Fractured Sanity. Uh, fitting, our last two cards were blue. Uh, Fractured Sanity costs triple blue, and each opponent mills 14 cards. Um, for one and a blue, uh, you can cycle it, and whenever you do cycle it, uh, each opponent mills four cards. So, we'll sleeve those up. As it is, two rares in one pack. Uh, I quite literally brought exactly the number of sleeves. Uh, so, we're going to have a uh, quick flick through what we got. We got a General Ferris Rock Rick, an Academy Manufacturer, a Solitary Confinement, a Verdant Command, a Search the Premises, a Riptide Laboratory. I wish this was a um other one, Cabal Coffers, a Piru the Volatile, a Thought Monitor, a Wonder, a Fracture Sanity, and our big three, a Sword of Hearth and Home, a Marsh Flats, an Enchanter's Presence, which wasn't included in the big three, but still pretty good pull. And probably our best pull of the day, a Grist the Hunger Tide. Uh, yeah, we definitely got the value uh, for our bundle. So this bundle was, um, was as I said before, supplied to me by SassyGamers.com. Again, link will be down below. Uh, bought from TotalCards.co.uk, or it might be .com. They are a really cool... Uh, UK based um, Magic the Gathering selling site that you will see your product um, I'm going to be completely transparent here of that uh, they didn't sponsor me Sassy Gamers sponsored me for this but uh, Total Cards did not but yeah um, I was hunting for a bundle to pick up for this and uh, they were really good price actually so yeah I cannot fault them uh, and yeah look at this value like, what, this right here probably is, like, most of the price of a bundle. And this is just the gravy. So, yeah. Right. I really hope you enjoyed that. And if you want more of this kind of content, let me know down below. And I will try my hardest to do more of this. Uh, yeah, I don't do YouTube a lot, so I don't really know how to end videos. I don't really have anything else to say. But look how happy this muffin is. Look at this happy muffin.